And I don't think we can have a conversation mm -hmm. without HR and finance where we don't talk about technology, right? So my question to you, Jill, is what role do you think technology oh, plays absolutely. in that growing SMB business? And how can leaders tap into some of that technology expertise to help them grow and scale? Oh, great question. So I've always been a fan of both what I call high touch and high tech, right? I think um, from a people perspective, you know, you still have to have those those human touch points in that interaction. Um, but I think from a high tech perspective, you have to, it's like what I said earlier, you have to give people tools to be more efficient, effective at their jobs and to, to kind of take over you know, we all have those things that are just burdensome and administrative and that we hate to do, right? So I think, you know, I'm finding from an HR perspective that the AI that's out there right now is really increasing our tactical efficiency by relieving us of some of that administrative burden that we felt in the past, right? And so why not continue to utilize those types of tools to help us to be more effective, more efficient, so that we can spend time kind of doing more of those high touch things and more of those strategic and thoughtful things and giving ourselves the white space to do that, that we haven't had before, right? Because again, I think it goes back to some of the things that I said earlier, especially with HR professionals, I think we get caught up in this sort of tactical, like just guinea pig wheel, right? Like we're just doing things, doing things, doing things all the time, doing things, but we're not, not really thinking about how what we're doing today and the time that we're spending today is impacting what is going to happen in the future, right? Or how we're developing that strategy for the future. So I think, you know, AI gives us that opportunity to spend more time on the more important high impact things. Yeah. And, and, both of us, right, we sit in that general and administrative function. So both of us, we're supporting the business. Mm -hmm. Finance is supporting the business. HR yeah. supporting the business. Legal supports the business. So we are team GNA, general and administrative, right? And the only way, and looking back and even working <laughs> with our CEOs and business owners and founders that we work with, Finance and HR are typically one of those places as the business grows and scales, you grow double digits year over year. You you invest a lot more in sales. You invest mm -hmm. a lot more in marketing. You go get that headcount. And those functions, they get the resources that they need in a growing business, but they also get the technology that we need. I don't know about you, Jill, but in the organizations that I've worked in, the finance teams that I've led, mm -hmm. when we were growing triple and double digits year over year, I never got unlimited headcount. I could go higher, right? I was always, I always had the, no. the I always no. was in the yeah. mindset of <laughs> I had to do more with the same amount of people that I had. Like I had to do more. And with this what? is where technology mm -hmm. enablement and adoption becomes a superpower for us, right? And it, it gets to the point that mm -hmm. you exactly talked about. It right. gets us outside of the tactical, low value, manual, routine things that finance and HR professionals mm -hmm. do. And it now gives us the capacity to do of more of that strategic level value to the organization, which is communication, collaboration, building community, and building connection inside the mm -hmm. business. That's where we have the most value. And I looking in, we talked about it earlier, looking into that crystal ball, the only way that I think finance professionals are able to make that leap from being scorekeepers and doing a lot of this manual low value work to being valued advisors and being technology uh, evangelists is we have to become comfortable with technology. And of course, Gen AI is like the biggest mm -hmm. thing across the board that a lot of technology, a lot of functions are starting to utilize. But that's how we scale. It's actually one of the, the uh, scaling pillars that we have around financial transformation at Fresh FPNA, right? I talked about this earlier, that foundation of your finance organization, people, process, partnerships, you need that foundation. The first pillar, the first scaling pillar from a finance organization is platforms. This is the technology. This is the, the, the budgeting planning technology. This is the AR technology. This is a, a, AP technology. That's how we scale and that's how we produce more value to the organization. But we got to jump in and we got to learn these technologies. Right. 
Absolutely. So important. I mean, I just I think of all of the manual processes and spreadsheets and tracking and things that I've done in the past in my career that are automated today. And I'm like, man, this would have been <laughs> great like 10 years ago. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is, and it's great. It's crazy when you see that level of adoption and, and evolution that technology's had in such a short amount of time. Like we're not talking. And just for math for everybody, like ChatGPT, Bart, Gemini, Claude, all these different large language models, these generative AI models, we're not they've only been around for a couple years, right? We're not talking about these technologies that have been around for 10 years. And look at the level of evolution and how these technologies has evolved so much, right? That to me is where I get really excited mm -hmm. because finance and HR that are technology enabled that are technology that are open to adopting technology, that's a whole nother value proposition. Now you combine that with the experience, the skills, the passion, all this experience that we have. And now we're able to accelerate our value proposition by leveraging technology. And we're able to provide this to growing SMB businesses early in their life cycle. Man, this is where it gets really exciting. Oh, sure. Yeah. That's a whole topic for another day, Chris. We could talk that, more about that, that. Absolutely, that is.